Okay, so let's continue and hopefully end it off here. So this is an article from cartelpress.com. And it says, teen playing Pokemon Go, stabbed and mugged for his iPhone in bad neighborhood, right? This was posted Sunday, July 10th. <clears throat> so let's continue here. 17-year-old Marcus Jackson was stabbed and mugged for his iPhone after allegedly playing Pokemon Go, a new app released by the franchise on July 6th. Police say Jackson was just walking around playing Pokemon Go and didn't realize he had stepped into what is known as a bad neighborhood. A local store owner said he saw Marcus Jackson was stabbed and his belongings stolen right after recording the incident. He immediately called the Chicago Police Department. The store owner said the kid was just looking at his phone. I don't think he had any idea where he, sorry, any idea where he was at or that he was being stabbed. Mark, Marcus Jackson is in stable condition and we're told he will recover. His main concern at this moment is getting his iPhone back. You see this? Again, this Pokemon Go is making these people go crazy. Alright? Technology in general is making you go crazy. This is what they're trying to do. Alright? Keep you far away from the truth. Okay? They, the, that's what they want you to be. The three blind mice. The three dumb monkeys. Not the three wise monkeys. But this is how they do. This is why they created all this stuff for you. Okay? So let's finish off with this video here. With this Wyoming team that's, that stumbled upon the dead body while playing Pokemon Go. Officers say that the body was located in three feet of water and early evidence showed that the man fell in the water where he was found. Authorities investigating the scene for hours before gathering the body and transporting it to the Fremont County Coroner's Office. And I don't have a lot of answers uh, at this point in time either. We're just, you know, we're going to have to wait and see what the autopsy reveals. And, you know, we'll have a clearer picture of possibly what occurred. Um, this person and we'll be able to piece it all together as we do with many other investigations that are conducted here around the county so there you go okay let's take a look now let's read proverbs 23 and 31 do not gaze at wine when it is red when it sparkles in the cup when it goes down smoothly all right the most high god told you that this right here this is going to be the wine that's going to make these people go crazy let's read this now in Isaiah 51 and 22, this is what your sovereign Yahweh says, your God who defends his people. See, I have taken out of your hand the cup that made you stagger, from that cup the goblet of my wrath, you will never drink again. Verse 23, I will put it into the hands of your tormentors, who said to you, for prostrate, that we may walk on you, and you made your back like the ground like a street to be walked on so this is what it is now most high says in proverbs 23 and 31 do not gaze at wine so all this stuff right here all this technology that is the wine that's making these people go mad nowadays all right that's why these people are going to the extent of getting stabbed and going into what they call bad neighborhoods just because of some pokemon go just because of some app that's telling them that something is there, but in reality, nothing is there. Okay? And again, you never know. All right? All these apps, they're all controlled by GPS, right? By, you know, by, by, by the internet or Wi-Fi signals, right? From these cell towers all across the cities. So, again, you never know that they probably had this person go into this so-called bad neighborhood on purpose so that he can get robbed and so that he can possibly get killed so that they can you know so that they can say oh well you know a homicide happened in, a, in this bad neighborhood and then what happened and then the people of that neighborhood get a bad they get a bad rep right and nine times out of ten the people in, in that neighborhood well what are they they're gonna probably be black and hispanic okay so so this is what it is you understand that the people of the world are becoming intoxicated with this wine all right this is wine right here okay people are drunk from it that is the wine so 
Proverbs 23 and 31 says, Do not gaze at wine when it is red. Again, red is the color of violence. Red is the color of danger. Red is the color of blood. It's the color of death. So it says, when it sparkles in the cup, when it goes down smoothly. See? So again, this right here, this looks nice, you know, catching to the eye. Oh, it's just a video game. It's just, it's just an app. But, the Most High God says, don't gaze on it, alright? Because why? You don't know the dark, the dark, uh, the dark meaning. You don't know the, the real reasoning, the real reasoning of why they're making those games, okay? You don't know why, okay? I mean, you know, you're just a sheep. You're just somebody playing it. You're somebody who's spending your money on, on their products. So to you, this wine, it goes down smoothly, right? So check this out. Verse 32, it says, in the end, it bites like a snake and poisons like a viper. That says, your eyes will see strange sights, right? Go, go, Pokemon, go, right? But there's nothing there. <laughs> Instead, you're getting stabbed in bad neighborhoods. Okay, you see what happens when you want to stare at the wine? Look what happens. Your eyes will see strange sights. I see a Pokemon, right? I see little people. I see dead people. As says, in your mind, will imagine confusing things. This is what's going on. Okay? That's what happens when you drink from that wine. So the Most High God says that he has took that wine away from our people. This is the reason why he's giving them the door of heaven right now. He's giving them that undefiled bread. Right? Giving them the new grain, the new wine. Because he took that cup away from our people. Our people is not worried about no chasing Pokemons. And if they do play this game, they're not going to go to the extent of getting stabbed or going all, you know, going all out to different neighborhoods and getting lost. Again, you're giving your mind over to evil, you're giving your mind over to Satan, and that's what's going to happen to you. All right? If you can't, if you don't know about balance, you understand that? If you, if you have a, a problem with willpower, well, then don't play these games. Don't try to be like other people. You understand that? Be yourself. You understand that? So this is what's going on. And these days, only those who are sincere, only those who are for real are going to are gonna survive. They're going to make it. Everybody else is going to get caught up in the storm. Everybody else is going to get drunk off this wine that's out there. Okay? And again, why are they doing all this, right? They're doing all of this to... Because again, you know, you want you want the cherry on top. We're gonna give you the cherry on top. They're doing all this so that your mind can get accustomed to their hologram Jesus that's coming up, to their hologram Shiva that's coming up, okay, to their hologram messiahs. That's the reason why they're doing all this augmented reality. You understand that? I keep trying to tell you people through the spirit of your Yahweh, they're trying to find a way to bring in Jesus. All right. Okay, Jesus is the idol shepherd. He don't care about you people. All right? So through the spread of Yahweh, this is the reason why we care for all people. All right? So if you were a Jesus sheep, you understand that, and you have realized that Jesus is not going to come to save you, you can come to this house. You can come to us through the spirit of Yahweh. All right? Because, again, you people are waiting for false hopes. You're waiting for a hologram to come out the sky. So this is what's happening. They did it with Tupac. They did it with, with many other people, and they will continue to do it, because this is their wine, damn it. This is their wine. They get all this technology from the fallen angels, okay? From the what? The watchers. You understand? So this is what's going on. You people out there, you're going you're gonna to fall for it. You, you, you're drunk off this wine. And what happens when you're drunk off of it? Proverbs 23 and 33. Your eyes will see strange sights. And your mind will imagine confusing things. The Hamashiach come out, coming out of the skies. Okay? That's what's going to happen to you. You people are believing in lies. You're drunk. You're seeing double. Things that's not there. So Proverbs chapter 1 verse 30 says, Since they will not accept my advice and spurned my rebuke, Verse 31 says, They will eat the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their schemes. So again, the Most High God says that He gives your mind over to whatever you want to believe. You want to think that a, that a Hamashiach is going to come out the sky to save you? Alright, that's good for you. 
again. It says here, they will eat the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their schemes. Let's go ahead and show you this here. Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 13. It says, the prophets are but when and the word is not in them. So let what they say be done to them. See? And people want to continue to lie. Well, that's what's going to happen to you. The Most High God says He's going to give your mind over to what you believe in. You want to continue to think that Hamas Yek is going to come out the sky to save you? All right, that's good for you. So let what they say be done to them. The Most High God says He will command the serpents to bite. You don't know nothing about the serpents because you people are still stuck on Jesus, still stuck on Hamashiach, Idushai. You understand that? So this is why in these days, all you people who's drunk with that with that wine, you're the one stumbling and fumbling all over the place. You're the one who's drunk. You're the one who will be filled with your own schemes, since you believe your own lies. Let's read now Proverbs 5 and 22. It says, The evil deeds of the wicked ensnare them. The cords of, this, of their sins hold them fast. Verse 23, For lack of discipline, they will die. See? You despise the ways of your God. Okay? You despise and you rejected His instruction. So it says, for lack of discipline, they will die. Just like it says in Hosea 4 and 6 about our people, right? What it says about our people. Let's read it. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed from what? From lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. Because you have ignored the law of your God, I also will ignore your children. Verse 7. The more priests they were, the more they sinned against me. They exchange their glorious God for what? For something disgraceful. For an idol. For an image. <laughs> this is what you people have done. They exchange their glorious God who had no image. Okay, who gave them no image. For what? For something disgraceful. You see what I'm saying? That's the days we're living in. Verse 8 says, They feed on the sins of my people and relish their wickedness. Do you understand? Again, they feed on the sins of my people and relish their wickedness. You know what that means right there? They relish their wickedness. That means that our people, they love to see our people doing evil. They don't say anything to them. They'll see somebody doing evil and they let them do evil. That's the way our people are. So verse 9 says, And it will be like people like priests. I will punish both of them for their ways and repay them for their deeds as it is happening. Okay? As it is happening. Why? Because they don't know God. Verse 10 says, They will eat but not have enough. They will engage in prostitution but not flourish, right? Who you engage in prostitution with? Well, with your Jesucristos, with your Jesus Christ. That's you that's who you engage in prostitution with. The most high God says about about you and your lovers, the Assyrian warriors. Ha <laughs> You fell in love with the king of Assyria, Jesus Christ. That's why the most high God says. You will not flourish. In other words, you will not be saved. It doesn't matter how much you're waiting for Jesus Christ. As long as you wait, you're going to die waiting because you don't know God. And it says they will engage in prostitution but not flourish. Because why? Because they have deserted Yahweh to give themselves to prostitution. Okay? Verse 11, it says old wine and new wine take away their understanding. See? New Testament, Old Testament, right? It says, old wine and new wine take away their understanding. That's why they don't know who's God. Because the Most High God said there was nothing new under the sun. And these people, what they do? They put the Most High's words behind him because they believe in a New Testament. They believe in a Son of God who died for their sins. So this is why it's saying that old wine and new wine take away their understanding. Because they try to justify their Jesus Christ with the Old Testament, which is bullshit, which is insane. Which is blasphemy of God's words. You see that? So this is why it says that it takes away their understanding. They have no understanding of who's God. Verse 12, it says, My people consult a wooden idol. Okay? And a diviner's rod speaks to them. A spirit of prostitution leads them astray. They are unfaithful to their God. As it is happening today. That's why the Most High God says that all this technology, all your adultery, all you people that want to continue to believe in idols, that's what's going to bite you in the ass. Because you're drunk off that wine. If you don't return to your God, 
Well then, it's going to bring you down to death. 